Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and another day of the home workout challenge. Today we're doing a leg day and oh my goodness, it's about to be for real. <laughs> and I know I say that quite a bit, but today is gonna be pretty intense, but I know that you can do it, so stick with me. Huge well done to making it. So, so proud of you. Please let me know in the comments how you're finding this workout plan. I'm just loving doing this with you guys. Share it with a friend. I'd love, if you're enjoying these videos, just share them. Just send them to a friend who you think would enjoy them too. And yeah, and without further ado, let's get into today's workout. Are you ready? Are you sure about that? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. We're going to start with a warm up, a lower body focused warm up. Jogging on the spot. Get on it. So, I hope you're not aching too much from yesterday and you've had some chance to rest after yesterday's workout. We are going to go for it today, but you can totally do it. So, just loosening up to start with getting the heart rate up gentle jog on the spot next up we'll do some leg swings so a nice dynamic stretch 20 on each leg you want to stand with good posture, make sure the shoulders are nice and low, chest is up, core is tight. Um, and the aim is to just isolate the leg in the movement. So you don't want your lower back arching and moving about. You want to keep the core nice and tight and just try and increase the range through which you move the leg each time. And on the other leg, 20 on the other leg. Awesome. Then we're gonna come down onto the floor, knees apart, hands reaching forward, and we're gonna push the hips back and then forward towards the floor. We're basically just stretching out the hips, stretching the inner thigh. Feet remaining on the floor and just rocking back and forth to get a good stretch. Really good stretch to do before doing any squats, and we will be doing just a few squats, just a just a couple of squats today. Awesome. Then we're gonna do some toe touches, so in the side lunge position, nice big wide open arms. Feet nice and wide apart, weight through your heels just shifting from side to side. Amazing, then we'll just do some calf stretches. So sweeping the floor, alternating legs, feeling the stretch through the glutes, the hamstrings and the calves. Try and get your chest towards your knee with good posture in the back. Getting ready to work. Then we'll tutty down, hands between the knees, and just shift around in this position, stretching out the hips as I show you the first move. The first move that we're gonna be doing will be single leg Romanian deadlifts. Um, for beginners, you can hold onto a wall or a chair to help your balance. For intermediate and advanced, I want you to try and actually balance yourself as part of this movement. All right, ready to begin? So standing on one leg and go. So as you start the movement, you want to think of actually pushing your hips back. So you're moving from the hips first. It's not about moving your chest towards your leg. It's about hinging at the hips, pushing the hips back. And then as you come up, you're actually squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings intentionally. And that power that you generate as you squeeze is what brings the hips back through. Uh, so you want to make sure you've got good posture, weight through the heel of the planted leg, 
pushing the hips back, squeezing up as you get that hip extension, staying nice and balanced. And rest. Take 20 seconds rest and we'll do the same thing on the other leg. Always got to make both cheeks even. Ready and go. So pushing the hips back till you can feel a stretch in the glutes and the hamstrings. Arms stretched out in front of you. Squeeze the glutes and really try and bring the hips through with, with a bit of force, a bit of energy. You're keeping a slight bend in the planted leg. And don't let the outstretched leg behind you, don't let it turn out too much. So try and keep your hips nice and level. So your hips should be both facing the floor when you pivot and rest. Cool, next move we're gonna do will be some single leg squats. Beginners, I want you to stick with two leg squats, so just normal squats. Um, advanced, I don't want you to hold on to anything, but intermediate will be holding onto the wall. So advanced, you're getting a full range of motion going all the way down and all the way back up. And go. So we're going down and coming back up, keeping nice and balanced, chest high, weight through the heels you want to sit back so i do not want your knee to come in front of your toes you want to sit back don't let your knee fall in if your knee is falling in towards your body switch to the beginners and just do normal squats okay so single leg squats are quite an advanced move um you could do them at an intermediate level you'll just do a smaller range of motion so realize like notice how i'm doing a smaller range of motion on intermediate but on advanced i'm going all the way down and all the way back up and rest for 20 seconds. We're gonna switch over to the other leg. So again, beginners doing a two leg squat, sitting back, coming back up. Advanced, we're not holding onto anything. We're squatting all the way down and coming back up. And go. So intermediate, holding onto a wall for a bit of support, sitting back, squeezing the glutes and hamstrings and coming back up so you're not going all the way kind of bottom to ankle but you are sitting back as though there's a stool behind you that you just want to perch on and get back up chest nice and high weight through the heels really important to control your knee position i don't want your knee coming forward in front of the foot that would tell me that the weight of your body is at the fourth is at the front of your foot which you don't want you should be able to wiggle your toes freely just a few more, well done. And rest, smashed it, well done. Cool, next we are all united on a three way point. So squatting back, sitting back, you're gonna move one leg in front, out to the side and out behind you, balancing on the one leg. And go. So you just wanna be kind of kind of delicate with this it's a bit of a, a bit of a move and groove you know you're not shifting the weight from the planted leg you're just controlling the other leg to tap in each direction so that other leg is the only one that should be moving so weight through the heels chest up forward out to the side and back behind you try and stay nice and low and rest well done and we're going to do the same thing but on the other leg ready and go so hips back chest up Pointing the leg forward, out to the side, back behind. Forward, out to the side, back behind. And I'm just showing you from the front now. So you can see that I'm really trying to keep my balance, keep good posture, 
and just moving that leg. I did get confused with what directions we were going in. But moving on from that, skipping over that, keep going. <laughs> just like a really bad tap dancer. That's the, that's the goal here. <laughs> and rest, well done. Next move, we're coming down onto all fours for a donkey kick pulse. Hoy. This is, this is a good workout, I can't lie. It's really good, I enjoyed it very much. Down on all fours while doing the same thing. And go. Knees below hips, hands below shoulders, nice tight core, lifting the leg up. So you wanna keep a slight bend in the knee and we're actually working in the top range, okay? So my knee is not coming all the way down. I'm just keeping it nice and high and then lifting it that little bit higher. So it's only actually moving through around about 15 degrees range of movement, really squeezing the glutes. Keep going, just a few more. Breathing through it. and rest. You can bring the hips back towards the bottom to stretch out the lower back before we come back onto the other side. Knees below hips, hands below shoulders and go. So just pulsing, squeezing the glutes Please notice how my lower back is not overly arched, okay? I'm not moving my lower back. I see this exercise done a lot where there's just a lot of motion in the back and that's not where we want it. We want the motion just in that leg and it is a very small range of motion, that's good. That means you're doing the right thing, which is hip extension, pushing that leg um, up into the air using the glutes. Keep going, nice and high, don't let the knee drop down too low and rest well done then we're going to do some fire hydrants advanced i want the leg straight straight out to the side lifting it up and down getting a really good workout with that especially the inner thighs as well the rest of us we're going to keep a bent knee and go so you want to try and keep the shoulders square to the mat. So keep your shoulders facing the floor. And then you're just isolating that leg in the movement. So really working the glutes to bring that leg up and out to the side as high as you can within your range of uh, flexibility. Advanced, we're keeping a nice straight leg, really focusing to engage the core so that the shoulders stay facing the floor. Keep going, just a few more. And rest, well done. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So advanced with the straight leg, the rest of us with the bent leg. and go. So keeping the range of motion in the leg, lifting it all the way up and back down, all the way up, keeping the shoulders facing towards the ground, core nice and tight, back in a good neutral position. You're doing really well. I know it burns, but you can do it. Keep going. And rest, well done. You can stretch between these, by the way, guys. So shifting from side to side or sitting back, but then we're gonna come back and do a straight leg raise. So leg out behind us and doing a straight leg raise to work the glutes and the hamstrings. You still with me? You can totally do this and go. So a nice straight leg, lifting it up, full range of motion. Imagine your leg is like a paintbrush, toe pointed, just drawing that line up, all the way up as high as you can. 
without overarching your lower back. If you're overarching your lower back in order to get a bigger range of motion, of motion, of motion, it doesn't count. It does not count. You've got to keep that core nice and tight good posture so that we're targeting the right muscle groups and we're not overstraining the lower back. And rest, well done. Stretch it out and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. If you're finding it difficult to keep good posture with the lumbar spine, aka lower back, then what you can do is come down onto your elbows and that can just reinforce the idea that the increased range of motion is not, and go, <laughs> is not coming from the back. So lifting the leg up, trying to get it as high as possible, squeezing the glutes at the top, controlling the movement, pointed toe, trying to paint that line as high up as you can. Keep going, you can do it. I know it burns, but that's that's what you're here for, right? That's what you came here for. You didn't come here just to sit and have a cuppa. You came here to work and you're doing so well. Keep going, you can do it. And rest, well done. Then we're gonna come onto our back. So give your arms a little rest and we're gonna do some frog hip raises. So keeping your feet together, let your knees fall out to the side um, and we're gonna lift up the hips, squeezing the core and go. So squeezing the core, lift up your hips, intentionally contracting the glutes to push the hips up as high as you can. Knees nice and open. It's not the biggest range of movement, that's okay. Keep going, you're doing so well. And relax for 20. We're gonna come onto our side now and target the inner thigh with some adductor raises. So you wanna be resting on your forearm, knee pointed to the ceiling, other leg straight out in front, bringing it up and back down, ready and go. So resting on the forearm, you're lifting the leg up as high as you can and resting it back down. For beginners, you can bend the leg that's moving and you can rest it on the floor when you come down before doing another lift. Advanced, you can actually push against your leg. So I want you to press against your inner thigh for some added resistance. Keep the leg straight and do not rest the leg as you come down to the bottom. Don't let it actually touch the floor. Either way, we're getting an awesome workout here. And rest. We're gonna do the other side. Ready and go. Bringing the leg up as high as you can. You can add some pressure there, so pushing against the leg. Keeping it nice and straight. I know it's tough, keep going. We're really working the adductors. You're doing so well, just a few more. and rest well done now we're gonna get up on our feet for a nice little treat oh hoy, hoy. stay with me on this i know you can do it we're gonna start off with wide leg squats ready and go so chest up feet just a bit wider than shoulder width apart feet turned out squatting down Hips back, knees not falling inwards or in front, and squeezing intentionally as we stand back up. 
You may have noticed the timer's a little longer this time. It is, because we're gonna do some pulses. So just follow me. I'm gonna guide you through it. I'm right here with you, you can do it. So keep squatting. I know it's tempting when you get a little jelly to stop, but try not to stop. You can slow down a bit, but try not to stop. Chest nice and high, weight through the heels and pulse. So now we're staying low, staying nice and low, and we're just pulsing in that position. I know, I know, I know it's tough, but you can do this just seven more seconds, seven more seconds, keep going. And then we're gonna bring the legs a bit closer together and squat. So we're doing standard squats. Feet about hip width apart. We're going back with the hips, weight through the heels, wiggle your toes, chest up, coming nice and low, squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings to stand back up. Keep going, try and keep the pace. You're doing really well. Sitting back. Let's keep it moving, nearly there. And when we get to 20, we're gonna pulse and pulse. So stay nice and low, weight through the heels. We're just getting that little range of movement just for that extra burn. You're doing so, so well, nearly there. All right, now you've guessed what's next. It's narrow leg squats and go. So legs together, feet together. Sitting back, we're really targeting the quads with these squats. Sitting back, trying to get nice and low, chest up. Keep it moving, well done. We're challenging different muscles as we move the legs. Just even that slight change helps to target the quads more. Keeping your balance, weight through your heels. If you're struggling with balance, hold onto a wall or a chair. And try and keep your frequency up. As soon as we hit 20, we're coming in with the pulse ready and pulse. Making sure you're sitting back. Knees not coming in front of your feet. When you look down at your knees, um, they should not be coming in front of your feet. or further forward than your toes, that is. Into lunge and kick, straight on it. Ready and go, keep going. So we're coming back into a lunge position and kicking out in front. Beginners, you're just lunging, but still getting a great workout. You're doing so, so well. Keep going, lunging back and down and kicking out in front. Coming all the way up, doing so, so well, absolutely killing it. And rest for 20. I know the rest has been a long time coming, but we didn't come to play. You didn't come to play. You did not sign up for this plan for a cup of tea. You want a cup of tea? Go Greg's. You came to work and I'm so proud of you. Well done. You'll be pleased to know this is the last move on the other leg and go. Lunge and kick. Beginners just keeping a steady lunge. Coming all the way up. Give it your best. This is the last 30 seconds of the leg day. Keep going. We're going to make it to the end. Keep pushing through, you can do this. You are capable of doing amazing things and I'm so proud of you. Just a few more, last five seconds. And rest, well done, you done did it. Yes, that's worthy of a, of a little dance. Um, I hope you're nice and sweaty. I hope that you are able to walk still. I will see you guys back here, same place, same time, tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.